What's going on guys, Aussie here, welcome back to a brand new video. So today we have Foot Champ Highlights Part 1. Weekend League has just pretty much ended yesterday. We did do a 6 hour stream. Now, some people could say it went well, but others say it didn't really go as planned. Because today we did hit Elite 1. But the record... It's going to have to be a bit secret for now. I'll tell you, obviously, at the end. But this is the first game. You saw our t you saw my team a minute ago. It's pretty much the same team. Lucas Shapeshifter. You got the Kone still there. Messi threw on goal. The little outside foot shot trait that I still love to this very day. Nothing has changed. Neymar on the ball going down the wing. Neymar passes it to Lucas Moura. Lucas Moura, one more to Messi. Now, I believe that probably was an own goal by the end of the day. As long as it goes in, I'm always going to be happy. Akone gets a bit of luck there. He is through on goal. Let's see what you can do. A beautiful pass towards Neymar. And we do get a penalty. Now, lately, I've been missing penalty after penalty after penalty. But I do go right. And because I didn't obviously time it, it goes in the outer circle. And it managed to go middle. Either way, as long as it goes in, I couldn't care less. A little, you know, a little fake shot around the corner by Neymar. Pass to Lucas Moura. And that is 4-0 in the second game. All 30 games were streamed, by the way, in one day. It was one sitting. I did not get out my chair once. But I'll probably never do it again. It's simple as that. Because it's came, it came a bit too far. I'm doing too many games one day. Then if I lose the game, I get frustrated sometimes. And then after that, it just kind of... It kind of goes on and on and on. Now, this guy's got an insane team for, I think it was like 3-0 or 4-0. Just look at the state of it. We do get a bit lucky with Neymar. Little half drag back, trying to get the angle. A beautiful finish into the far, co uh, far corner. But I tell you what, all I had to do there was be very patient because I saw how this guy was defending and he wasn't really coming towards me. He was allowing me to do whatever I want pretty much. So I just took advantage of that, you know, held, held the ball a bit. But 20th minute now, it is obviously 2-0. And look at that. People that shoot at that angle, I, I honestly despise. Honest to God. You shoot at an angle to guarantee a rebound. Like, it's surely EA can't, like, can see that and they patch it. But at the end of the day, it is what it is, I guess. 33rd minute, though, we do go full one against this guy. Easy, guys. This guy's got a really good team, but it's not showing it on the pitch. That's what I'm saying. Name on the ball. Little pass to Lucas Moura. Lucas Moura, top bins finish. Now... Lucas Anacone's finishing this weekend, it was good, but the gameplay was so, so slow and I couldn't create the angles I needed to. So that was like the big downfall. But this guy has 87 Odegaard. I think that was Aussie main up top as far as I remember. Yes, it is. Got the 90 Deco as well. Quite surprised. I haven't played probably a Deco in a very, very long time. But all I have to do there, second minute in, give, give Neymar the ball, the little fake shot to get the angle. Neymar still being my favorite player in this game, but I seriously need to upgrade this team. Seriously. Like, I lost so many coins on tax this weekend because of foot birthday. But at the end of the day, at the end of the day, it's always worth it because I give you guys content. But I lost, I think it was 800 k 800 k on tax. You know, it happens, it happens, but we continue. And there's obviously a team two coming out, so I'll probably lose another 800k, depending on what team, obviously. But look look at that dribbling by Neymar, a little close court dribbling, just taking my time once again. Two minutes, uh, sorry, 64th minute in, 2-0 uh, up. Neymar once again sending, the, I think that's winter refresh Ake, completely for a hot dog, and it's a beautiful finish once again. 3-0 up, 67th minute, Messi going down the line. I'm going to go for a glitchy finesse. I do hit post. He did read it. He moved the keeper. So I rate that from him. Little fake shot of Neymar. Drag back. Get the angle. And that's the one thing that you can obviously do with Neymar. You can shoot with both feet. And it's super, super effective. Now, he had to back stick here. And I'm sitting to myself. I'm saying to myself, ah, it's probably a guaranteed goal. He misses the whole goal. Like, you can't get any more unlucky. You seriously can't. And then I go to the other side and obviously score another goal. So it is 5-0. And look at this team. This team is, it's good. Now, there is some low-key meta players in there, but it's not insane. And we all know that. Lucas Moura on the ball. This guy clearly didn't know that Lucas Moura was left-footed, the shapeshifter card. So, I kept cutting onto that left foot and, you know, caused damage pretty much with it. Lucas Moura, a little fake around the corner. Trying to wait for the little sweat. Usually, in a, like, a sweat angle, they don't really cut back. And it kind of annoys me low-key. Because it's wide open, why not? But this time, obviously, he did. 
and look at this team i think that's 94 de bruyne and 95 messi yes it is i remember this team so much it's ridiculous because i was super super jealous in uh what's it called on my stream no 95 messi is insane but 94 de bruyne as well like come on bro but we do go 2-0 up in the 71st minute. This game was a game and a half. This guy was a very good player. 74th minute now. A little fake shot around the corner. Taking my time. I go to like for a weird finesse angle. Because the guy wasn't really coming towards me. But I do end up getting a rebound to go for a header. And it is 3-0. And it looks like it is going to be a rage quit. Simple as that. But going into the next game. This guy's got a really nice team. I like how he's put that Nori in there. The Hernandez. He's obviously saving up for foot birthday Hernandez. So I rate it. I rate it. Neymar though in the 6th minute does make us go 1-0 up. Now, 14th minute now. Lukone on the ball. Let's see what you can do. I'm telling you. When they had the chance to finish, they finished the ball. But the problem was trying to get the angle. It was not a very, you know, not very agile uh, gameplay I would say. But 3-0 up, 23rd minute now. And we're getting rage quits left, right, and centre. Now, this guy, it's got a weird team, 100%. I wouldn't call it insane team. We obviously got the Lipman, which I rate. But at the end of the day, I don't think you can go into a weekend league nowadays, especially with that team. And you're getting turned by a Kone. Like, a simple drag back. And all three players got turned like that. It's just not good enough. But once again, a beautiful pass towards Messi, making us go 2-0 up. In the 19th minute. By coming into the 34th, uh, 34th minute now. Uh, Neymar to Messi. Messi once again. He's not going to miss from there. It's simple as that. That is 3-0. 34th minute. And it's another rage quit. But looking at this team. This team is a very, very good team. That one Bazaka right back is absolutely insane. And he was causing me big, big problems in this game. But we do go 1-0 up in the first 10 minutes. 22nd minute now. Okone on the ball towards Neymar. Neymar little finesse. What you see, what you have to see there is if he brings out the keeper, that's when you go for the finesse shot. Don't power that because if you power that, it is going to miss. Go for the finesse shot. But look at this. 90 Hullet, 90 R9, 90 Zola. Okay, okay. So it looks like he probably did pack the Hullet. But at the end of the day, we do do a little fake shot. Pass to Okone, wide open finish. And it is 1-0 in the first five minutes. Now, we have got the ball once again. Okone to Messi. Beautiful turn. Little ball roll. Pass back to Okone. We do get our second goal in the 16th minute. And surely, he's not going to rage quit. Oh, come on. 90 Hullet. And he rage quits. It just doesn't make sense to me. But this guy's team, I wouldn't say it's... Like, it's quite meta. But it's not, you know, an insane amount of meta. But this guy does really, really, really well. He actually moved the keeper here. But... At the end of the day, I should have done better. Name on the ball. Going to fake it. Going to go one way. This guy doesn't move the keeper that time. I was confused. Like, surely that time is a clearer chance to move the keeper than the other chance. But it is what it is. 94 red Ronaldo. I tell you what. That Ronaldo. I wish I had him red. That's all I'm going to say. Name on the ball. Little pass to a corner. A little, uh, little finish into the back of the net. Five minutes in. Vidal, Neymar, Neymar to Akone. Akone once again with the left foot. There was actually um, actually an opponent. I don't know if it's in this video or the next video. It was like some guy didn't know Akone and Lucas was left footed. I, I just sat there for a second and it was like shapeshifter, shapeshifter Lucas is guaranteed left footed. Akone is 100% left footed. Like how don't you know this by now? Surely like if you don't know they are left footed, surely you're living like under... Like under a rock or something because that's like literally the reason that people use that Lucas shapeshifter. Because yes, he has got upgraded stats, but at the same time, people usually read the right foot on Lucas because he is originally right footed, but they changed it. But Lucas Moore, once again, threw on goal. And I'm telling you, this Lucas and Okone, he's, they're clinical in front of the net. They really are. But as I said, many times, it's just hard to get an angle with him. Neymar, left foot. And that is always one thing I'm always going to love about Neymar. Shoot with the left, you shoot with the right. It doesn't matter. I would say 75% of the time, it goes in. Zola, Del P. Now that is something you don't see every day. It's rather one or the other. And apparently this guy decided he wanted to buy both. But he does go 1-0 up. Okay, second minute in, scoring kickoff. Messi, little flick on. Look, you can't get anything worse. He apparently falls on the ball. Sergio Ramos turns like that. Turns three people. 
just like that. And he does go 2 0 up. So I'm still confused to this very day. But we move on. Name on the ball passes to Lucas. And Lucas ain't going to miss from there. 2 1 straight back in the game, just like that. Going into 34th, 34th minute now. Messi to Neymar, Sissoko, Okone. Can you get the finish? Yes, you can. This guy does pause the game and then he quits. I don't get the win for that. Like, EA, honest to God, sort it out because that is a guaranteed win. I come from 2-0 down to make it 2-0 and then this guy leaves so I don't get the dub. Is it just like, come on now, come on. Suzuko on the ball, passes to Lucas Moura. As you clearly can see, this guy is parking a bus like there is no tomorrow. But I do turn him inside out. And once again, Lucas Moura on that left foot. Beautiful finish. Neymar, quick turns, passes to Akone. They're quite lucky to get the ball back with Neymar, I must say. But it's a beautiful finish with Akone's right foot. Ne Akone to Neymar, little hill to hill. Little, absolute, full pelter pretty much. Into the top beans. It's a beautiful finish. It is 3-0. And this guy is obviously, obviously going to rage quit. It's simple as that. Now, we are going into the next game. Or is it not? Is that it? That is it. 15 and oh, we are starting it off just like that. A pretty, you know, a pretty decent start. 15 and oh. But in the next 15 is where you see what goes wrong. But if you guys did enjoy the video, leave a like, leave a comment, and for now, peace.